Thanks for checking out this video. So Shudder's excited for April because not only are they making it halfway to Halloween month, but they're also releasing their information very early, uh, so early in March, to let you know what's coming and get you hyped up for the month. And based off what I'm seeing in the email I got, it's looking like some good stuff. So I'm pretty excited. So let's jump right into it. So, starting on April 1st, something a lot of people will be excited for, Season 2 of the Creep Show series. I'm excited for that. Overall, I liked the first season. I'm interested to see if they get even bigger and better in Season 2. So, let's check that out. I'm not going to read the blurb for that, because we basically all know what it is. Also available in Canada, the UK, and Australia and New Zealand for that one. Also coming on the 1st of April, Shutter exclusive film, Train to Busan Peninsula, which I've heard good things about. I'm not going to read the description on this or the teaser on this because I have a feeling it may have some spoilers for the Train to Busan. And if anyone's watching who haven't seen, hasn't seen Train to Busan, I don't want to ruin anything. But I do want to say, check out Train to Busan. I'm not a big fan of zombie films, but that film is definitely worth watching in my opinion. So check that out. And once again, April 1st, that is also coming to Canada. April 8th, Shutter exclusive film The Power, and this is coming to Canada, the UK, and Australia and New Zealand. London, 1974, as Britain prepares for electrical blackouts to sweep across the country, trainee nurse Val arrives for her first day at the crumbling East London Royal Infirmary. With most of the patients and staff evacuated to another hospital, Val is forced to work the night shift, finding herself in a dark, near-empty building. Within these walls lies a deadly secret, forcing Val to face both her own traumatic past and deepest fears in order to confront the malevolent force that's intent on destroying everything around her. That sounds interesting. Not just because of what events sound like happen, but I like these kind of like horror period pieces. So the fact that it's said in 1974, let's do that. I'm down for it for sure. All right, coming April 15th, Shudder original film. Oh, did I say that's Canada, UK, and Australia and New Zealand? Uh, coming April 15th, also a Shudder original film coming to can also Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand, The Banishing. From acclaimed director Chris Smith, who did Creep, Severance, and Triangle, comes The Banishing, which tells the true story of the most haunted house in England. A young reverend and his wife and daughter move into a manor with a horrifying secret. When a vengeful spirit haunts the little girl and threatens to tear the family apart, the reverend and his wife are forced to confront their beliefs. They must turn to black magic by seeking the help of a famous occultist or risk losing their daughter. Sounds interesting. I'm not into that type of film, but since it's, it, I'll be getting it as a screener um, because I always get screeners for films that are Shutter exclusives or originals, and I then do... Um, no spoiler reviews that go up usually the Monday of the week they're coming out. And these films usually go up on Thursday. So you can always come to my channel and expect on a Monday that I'm going to be dropping a no spoiler review for whatever film is hitting Shutter on Thursday. So I will be doing that one, even though it doesn't sound super interesting. But hey, sometimes those end up really surprising me. Uh, the big thing that I know a lot of people are already excited for because that information is already out there. Coming April 16th. The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. This is season three of his normal show, so we're going to be getting many weeks of this. I think it's going to go like nine. It's usually like nine weeks, uh, I believe. So that will be that Friday, and yeah. Tune in at, it'll be 9 p.m. Eastern time. All right. Uh, happening that same weekend, and this is interesting. I didn't see this coming. They're going to be showing the 2021 Fangoria Chainsaw Awards. That is very interesting, and that will also be available in Canada, the UK, and Australia and New Zealand. Um, so I'm not really going to describe this. I mean, it's basically an award show put on by Fangoria, where they give out awards for different horror community and film-related things. So I think that should be interesting. I'm going to check it out. It's going to be showing at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 5 p.m. Pacific. So just so you know. Uh, coming April 22nd, Shutter exclusive film, Boys from County Hell, uh, also coming to Canada. Welcome to Six Mile Hill, a sleepy Irish backwater whose only claim to fame is the somewhat dubious local legend that Bram Stoker once spent a night in the local pub. It's home to Eugene Moffat, a young man who fills most of his days drinking pints with his friends and pranking tourists who come to visit the gravesite of Abhartok. Abhartok? I don't know. Someone can correct me in the, in the, uh, in the comments. 
a legendary Irish vampire some believe to have inspired Dracula. When a personal tragedy forces Eugene to go and work for his gruff, no-nonsense father, he finds himself on the site of a controversial new road development that threatens to destroy the town's livelihood. But strange events unfold when Eugene and the crew tear down a famous cairn believed to be the final resting place of Abartok. I think I did better that time, but probably didn't get it still. And they soon come under attack from a sinister force that has infected one of their workmates. As the night closes in, the boys must fight for survival while discovering the true horror of a myth that hits much closer to home than any of them realize. <sighs> that was a bit long. I think that probably should have been cut down. That sounds interesting, though. I'm into it. Vampire stuff? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Coming April 26th, I know there's some people who'll be very interested in this. It's a Shutter exclusive. It's a documentary. I love horror documentaries. And it's part two of In Search of Darkness, which I believe part one is still on Shutter. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's long. It's like four hours. I think the second one is about four hours, but really, really good. All about horror from the 80s and really doing some deep dives on stuff like that. So that is cool. I'm excited for that one. Once again, that's April 26th. And coming April 29th, Shudder original series, Dead House Dark, also coming to Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand. An anthology of six interconnected horror short films, Dead House Dark is anchored by a woman who receives a mystery box from the dark web, each item within it gradually unveiling a dark and troubling truth. A box full of dark and chilling tales of terror inspired by frighteningly familiar modern trends, including dark web mystery boxes, dash cam footage, and insta-fame hungry vloggers. Dead House Dark is a giant mystery box of chocolates. While there is something in there to suit a variety of different tastes, tastes in the end, chocolate is still chocolate. And who doesn't love chocolate? Kind of a weird write-up, but hey, it's an anthology thing. I'm excited. I really enjoy anthologies. Um, gonna be fun. Okay, so apparently they're doing a Halfway to Halloween Hotline. Now, they did this back in October. I've never actually called into it, but if you have interest, I've heard it actually is pretty cool. So every Friday in April from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Samuel Zimmerman, who shutters director of programming, will be available via the phone number that they're going to end up putting up on social media, I assume, because it's not in here. And you can call and you can get recommendations from him personally of what you should watch that's on Shutter, and that usually comes from him asking you, hey, what are you into? And then he makes some good recommendations. So that's kind of cool. So, the movie's coming. Uh, April 1st, Night of the Lepus, and there's nothing listed here for where else it's going to be. For a bunch of these, it's not, but if there is, I'll say it. Um, Night of the Lepus from 1972. This is one that's been on my list to watch, so I will definitely be checking this one out. Coming to Shutter just in time for Easter, in this cult classic, an Arizona rancher dealing with massive rabbit overpopulation, calls on a local college president, Elgin Clark, to help him. In order to humanely resolve the matter, Elgin brings in researchers who inject the rabbits with chemicals. However, they fail to anticipate the consequences of their actions. Don't they always? That's why it becomes a horror film, and I'm there for it. Yeah, excited for that one. Also coming on April 1st, The Haunting of Julia from 1977. After her daughter's death, wealthy American homemaker Julia Lofting moves to London to restart her life. All seems well until she is haunted by the ghosts of other children while mourning her own. For me, lukewarm on that, but I assume it's kind of a classic. I haven't really heard of it, but I assume it's kind of a classic. Might check it out. This one I am interested in because people are probably going to be a little bit aghast at this. I have never seen... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 from 1986. Yes, I know. I believe that's the one with Chop Top, Bill Mosley's Chop Top, which if that's the case, I'm even more excited because I've seen clips of him and it looks delightful. Um, so I will definitely be checking this out. This is checking one off my list that's been on there for a long time. Just never got around to. So this will also be available in Canada. Uh, I'm not going to read the... Well, I'll read it. Chainsaw-wielding maniac Leatherface is up to his cannibalistic ways once again along with the rest of his twisted clan. This time, the masked killer has set his sights on a pretty disc jockey who teams up with a Texas lawman to battle the psychopath and his family deep within their lair, a macabre abandonment amusement park. Yeah, I'm excited. Coming April 2nd, the Val Luton Collection, who I'm not familiar with, but they're going to tell you. Seven classic films from the influential writer and producer behind a series of atmospheric, psychologically rich horror classics. From 1942, Cat People, 
1943, I Walked with a Zombie. I have heard of that one. From 1943, The Leopard Man. From 1943 also, The Seventh Victim. From 1944, Curse of the Cat People. From 1945, The Body Snatcher. Obviously know that. And also from 1945, Isle of the Dead. I might check some of those out because it sounds like it's kind of history of horror-ish. You can see the influence, I guess. Coming April 5th, Don't Panic from 1988. This one's also going to be available in Canada. Best known as Mexico's homage to A Nightmare on Elm Street, in this film, Michael is gifted a Ouija board from his best friend Tony on his 17th birthday. Tony unwittingly unlocks the evil forces of the board, unleashing a wave of violent killings, and the chief suspect suspect appears to be Michael. Um, that sounds really awesome. I've never heard of this film, but... I'm going to have to watch this. It sounds very interesting. April 5th, also, Zombie for Sale from 2019. This one will also be in Canada and the UK. When the illegal human experiments of a Korean pharmaceutical company go wrong, one of its undead test subjects escapes and ends up in a gas station owned by the Park family. When the Park family uncovers the undead visitor, they hatch a plan to exploit this unexpected fountain of youth. That sounds interesting. I could definitely go for that one. Might check that out. Coming April 12th, The McPherson Tape from 1989, also coming to Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. Known for being a pioneer in the found footage genre, this film centers on a typical fall evening in 1983 when a young man videotapes his niece's fifth birthday party. As the night's strange occurrences take place, he keeps his video camera running, recording the entire event. Okay, I'm... I'm not big into found footage, so I may skip on that one. But if people, if, if, if enough people in the comments say you should definitely see it, I'll probably check it out. Uh, also coming April 12th, Alex de la Iglesia double feature. Also coming to Canada. Two cult favorites from the acclaimed Spanish master of horror who most recently directed and co-wrote HBO Max's 30 Coins, The Day of the Beast, in which a priest, TV psychic, and death metal record store clerk team up to beat Satan and prevent the apocalypse, and Dance with the Devil, starring Rosie Perez and Javier Bardem as a sadistic couple involved with human sacrifices, kidnapping, murder, and fetus trafficking. I know this thing, that's crazy. Um, those sound cool. I, I, I would like to check those out. This is beginning to sound like I'm going to be very busy in April, like busy watching a lot of films, but hey, that's cool. Halfway to Halloween, I'm in. Coming April 19th, okay, this is another one I haven't seen yet, and it's been on my list. The Stepfather from 1987, also coming to Canada. Jerry Blake is a family man, but he happens to have a series of families, with each one on the receiving end of his murderous ways. When Jerry sets his sights on a lovely widow named Susan and her headstrong daughter, Stephanie, it appears that his brutal pattern of killings will continue. However, Stephanie begins to suspect that there's something wrong with the seemingly well-adjusted Jerry, and a violent confrontation is inevitable. I've heard very good things. That's why it's been on my list. I'm going to check it out. Uh, Thale from 2019, also coming April 19th. Leo and Elvis are cleaning up a particularly messy crime scene when Elvis accidentally finds a secret passage that leads to a subterranean living space. Cool. He encounters Thale, a beautiful young woman who sings but does not speak. The two are ill-prepared, when others tracking Thale finally catch up to her. I might need to check that one out. That sounds very intriguing. I like where that seems to be potentially going. All right, also coming uh, April 19th, The Conspiracy from 2012, also coming to Canada. A documentary about conspiracy theories takes a horrific turn after the filmmakers uncover an ancient and dangerous secret society. That sounds like it's got a lot of great possibility. Might have to check that out. Uh, 2019, or also from April 19th, for April 19th, Housebound from 2014. I have seen this and I enjoyed it. Also coming to Canada, a young woman is forced to return to her childhood home after being placed under house arrest where she suspects that something evil may be lurking. I do recommend it. Check that out. Coming April 26th, The Similar, The Similiars? Is it supposed to be The Similars, but it's spelled Similiars? Okay. From 2015, also coming to Canada. Eight people experience a strange phenomenon while waiting for a bus at a remote station on a rainy October night. That's it. I mean, I guess I'm intrigued because it's so vague. Let me know. Have you seen it? Is it worth it? 
Uh, also the 26th, The Diabolical from 2015. A single mother and her children are awoken nightly by an intense presence. She asks her scientist boyfriend to destroy the violent spirit that paranormal experts are too frightened to take on. Sounds kind of interesting, but I'm not huge into paranormal, so I don't know. Also, if you've seen it, let me know. Is it worth it? Also, April 26th, Attack of the Demons from 2019 also will be available in Canada. For centuries, a demonic cult has been plotting the destruction of mankind. When a small Colorado town is overrun by a legion of mutating demons, three non-demon hunter friends must use every skill their minds can fathom to stave off the demon apocalypse. That sounds interesting. I'm not familiar with the film, so I'm hoping it's a com it's a horror comedy because it sounds like that concept could be awesome for a horror comedy. So, I don't know. We'll see. Also, do you know? Is it a horror comedy? Put a comment. And the last film on this long list, April 29th, Horror Express from 1972. Also be available in Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand. While traveling on the Trans-Siberian Express, an anthropologist and his rival must contain the threat posed by the former's cargo, a prehistoric ape, which is the host for a life form that is absorbing the minds of the passengers and crew. That sounds cool. That sounds real cool. I want to check that out. So obviously I'm going to be too busy in April. I don't know about you after hearing all of that. Obviously what I'm most excited for, season three of The Last Drive-In, that's going to be great. Creep Show season two, that's going to be great. Very excited actually for those, um, the Chainsaw Awards. That would be really cool to watch because I'm not sure if they were televised prior to that. Maybe they were, but I just hadn't seen it. So that that is awesome. Uh, Night of the Lepus, very excited for that. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, very excited for that. Um, yeah, I know I'm forgetting some other stuff right now because that was a lot. But let me know what you're particularly excited about for April. Put it in the comments down there. And also, have you ever called into their their hotline like that and gotten recommendations? Is it hard to get in? I would assume there might be a lot of people calling so you, you like can't get through. But I don't know. But let's let's get nerdy. Let's talk about this. Let's get excited because, yes... Not only will there, will there be cool stuff, but it is literally marking halfway to Halloween, and I can't wait to get back there. October was an amazing month for me personally because it really helped me with the whole COVID situation to really just like feel more normal and just have so much fun that month. So anyway, but uh, thanks for checking this out. Do me a quick favor though, real quick, hit that subscribe button. That is your best way to repay me if you've watched any of my videos and find them informative or interesting or fun or whatever. You can just pay me back with that subscribe. Also hit the notification bell button because then you know when I'm putting up new videos, whether it's something like this, a movie review, a unboxing, a haul video, any of that jazz. I appreciate it. But regardless, thanks for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.